Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to teach you guys about a website that I consider very valuable to use and I keep in my bookmarks just in case and I've been using this site for years and that's Jotty's Malware Scan. Now you might be asking what does this actually do? How this works is you submit a file, whatever kind of file it might want to be, and it uploads it to the Jotty Malware Scan servers, which happens to be running on a Linux box. At that time, it proceeds to go through this long list of built-in antiviruses that they have there and scans each one independently, and then gives you the feedback to let you know if that particular antivirus found something or not. Now, you might be thinking, why is this useful? Well, hopefully on your home system, you are running an active scanner on your system just to help keep it protected or at least an on-demand scanner like Malware Bytes or Super Andy Spyware to where you can have a chance to scan files you might not know where they came from. But let's just say you happen to get an email and it's got a file attached to it that you don't know what it is. So what you could do is you could go to this website, you click on Browse, search for this suspicious file that came in. It might be a .exe, it might be a zip file, Word document, could be an image and you're just quite not quite sure where it came from so you want to check it out. You open it up, it will go through and upload the file and then it will go through and begin a quick scan and give you some information about it. It gives you the MD5 hash, the SHA1 hash of it, and this is all just computer jargon for the unique number that specific file has. No other file will have that specific number too. When it was first seen, information about it, but then you can go through and see all of the information about which antivirus is scanned it and if it found something. And you can see here that you know roughly 16 different antiviruses scanned this and didn't find anything. That doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% safe, but that does give you a good clear indicator that there might not be something wrong with it and it might be okay. Of course, trust your instincts and if a file comes in from somebody you don't know, don't open it, just delete it. But this is at least a really good way to give you an idea if something is good or is not good. And you can also see what the built-in file name of this is actually supposed to be. You know, I renamed it for the sake of this video as an example. But you can see what this is supposed to be here based on the file property. So if you get a file that's named weird like openme.exe and you're like, I don't know what that is. This will at least kind of tell you what it's supposed to be. So anyway, hopefully this was useful to you guys. I know there's a couple other ones out there. This is one I highly recommend because I have been using it since 2004, literally going on 12 years using this thing now, and it's absolutely wonderful. Again, nothing helps out like doing multiple scans on a file just to be safe, but use common sense. Don't open something that you don't recognize, if especially from a source you don't know. Just be cautious out there and be safe. If you have any questions or comments, do drop them in the video section below, in the comment section below, and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.